Welcome to the Xander Zone. James Bond was once the ultimate badass, licensed to kill, licensed to drink, and screw whoever he liked. The villains were outlandish, and the gadgets were crazy. But pretty soon, the villains became too outlandish, and it just became too crazy. Seriously, they lost me at the invisible car. James Bond no longer seemed like the most dangerous guy in the room. Something of a relic of the Cold War. With some people considering James Bond kid stuff, we needed something more adult, more hardcore. More triple X. Why does it seem like every movie made around this time took place in Prague? The story starts with a spy doing spy stuff. But he's quickly hunted down and killed. Bang, bang, indeed. Oh, he's wearing a tuxedo, just like a certain spy we all know. If there's one thing this movie is not, it's subtle. Do we want to drop another mouse in the snake pit? Or do we want to send our own snake and let him go? I'm a snake. We need an agent who blends in with these extreme characters and can operate on their level. Speak their language, as it were. Dan, how are you? Oh, who's, who, who's driving my car? These monkeys are following me because I just took this car. Vin Diesel is Xander Cage, but he's known to his church group as Triple X. You've just entered the Xander Zone. Is that like a nightclub? He's a thrill seeker, an extreme sports advocate, and an internet star, which makes him the perfect candidate to be a super spy somehow. Until now, he's been a troublemaker, filming his illegal antics and posting them online. But he's finally busted, but not by the cops. <laughs> Recruited by Samuel L. Jackson as Nick Fury. Uh, I mean... The name's Gibbons. Augustus Gibbons. Sounds familiar. Oh, and get used to the shot. They use it a few times. Um, one question. Why doesn't his tattoo match the movie logo? First, they put him and a few other candidates through some tests. This ain't right! I'm telling you, none of this is right! I live for this shit! <laughs> Danny Trejo in a bit part, unlike his usual roles. I'm just kidding, he's doing what he always does best. Shit meets fan, and Triple X is caught in the middle, but he escapes using his skill and attitude. He gets the job. I live for this shit! So what's it gonna be, Triple X? So I guess he's a spy now. Do I look like a fan of law enforcement? His first assignment, infiltrate a terrorist organization called Anarchy 99, led by a ruthless killer named Yorgi winning them over with his own reputation of fighting the law. What's your name? Xander Cage. Ah! They apparently would never suspect a celebrity of being a spy. He also meets Yelena, played by Asia Argento. She's the shy girlfriend of the leader. Now that business is finished, we party. Wait! Bitches, come! Be right there. You know, if you're gonna send someone to save the world, make sure they like it the way it is. At first it kind of feels like this is a straight parody, but it actually takes itself kind of seriously. Would Bond ever wear an awesome coat like that? But with some tongue-in-cheek nods to the Bond franchise. He even gets his own version of Q. You ever get punched in the face for talking too much? Come on, these, these gadgets seem rooted in James Bond lore, but they still have kind of a ragged, more gangster feel. If you want to get nasty, a um, little wet work. This guy's a perv. You know what I'm talking about, right? Huh? Every one of these gadgets will come in handy during this movie. Everyone. He discovers Yelena is a spy herself, but she got stuck in her cover when her bosses forgot about her. So the bad guys have a robot boat. Let me say that again. They have a robot boat. And it's loaded with a chemical weapon that's pretty nasty. But we never really figure out why the bad guys are so bad or pissed off. I want all that in here. Done. Right, Gibbons didn't authorize any of this stuff. 
Triple X chases down the boat with his kick-ass car. He gets on the boat and he saves the day. And after the mandatory death fake out, Triple X and Yelena take in some downtime in Bora Bora. That was Triple X. It's silly, but still awesome. This is definitely a product of its time. The X Games were big, Extreme Sports, Tony Hawk. This wasn't the first time Hollywood tried this. But Rob Cohen injected this movie with adrenaline. It's fast paced, with lots of guns, girls, and cars. It's the ultimate guy flick. It's hardly Oscar worthy, but Vin Diesel is mostly believable. Look, emotion. I guess I'm saying I would have liked some explanation why he's so comfortable with people shooting at him. Knocked over a few 7-Elevens, have we? And like I said earlier, the story is structured a lot like a Bond film, but it plays mostly like a parody. But the action is tense. There are some amazing action sequences. Like when X jumps from a chopper and snowboards ahead of an avalanche. That's extreme, baby. The dialogue can be cheesy at times, the acting is just serviceable enough to sell it, but I still like this movie. I'm giving Triple X a 3 out of 5. It's a fun, diverting movie, good action, and Vin Diesel makes a likable hero. Triple X raised the bar for the spy genre. Other franchises like Bourne and Bond responded with their own increased action and edge. Vin Diesel returns this month with a new installment, Triple X, The Return of Xander Cage. Will it stand out among the current state of spy movies? I live for this shit! If you like this video, give a thumbs up. And subscribe, you know you want to. So what's your favorite movie spy? Let us know in the comments. You're in the Xander Zone. This is the newbie, and thanks for watching.